Hey y'all, welcome to the Piney Woods Homestead. Today I'm gonna work on some corner bracing for a new hog lot we're putting in for our Hereford gilt who's due to farrow in September. Stick around. Today on the homestead, we're putting up some permanent fencing for our Hereford hog. We've been raising pigs in the woods for a couple of years now, but we've been doing it all in electric fencing. And that's fine, it works pretty good, but with a lot of investment in the pigs, we really want some woven wire up as a permanent backstop in case something gets out, because we're down here on a creek bottom and the last thing we want is thousands of dollars worth of investment going into the, into the creek and getting gone on us, because we count on this for part of our livelihood. We're homesteaders. I'm a seventh generation farmer, if you want to call it that, here in North Carolina, and we just like living this way. So today we're working on some fencing. I'll show you what I got to do here shortly. Got to get the tractor out, kind of clear out a little bit, and get a little bit of work done. So we've got existing fence. I don't know if you can see it, but on up the path here, there's a corner already in place because we ran some permanent fencing through the woods several years ago because we had a couple of horses. But if you notice, I've got string. It's actually poly wire that we use to tie up tomato plants and such. This running from that corner all the way up to a new corner that I'm building. And I've just used six by six treated posts that I had laying in the barn. I didn't want to have to go buy anything because pressure treated lumber has gotten so ridiculously crazy. But I've got string put up so that I know where to put my T-post and also, I'll be able to see exactly how much clearing that I have to do. And if you look up along this line where my fence is going, you'll see there's some brush that's in the way. And so what I got to do is get the tractor out here and just kind of push that brush back a little bit. That way, it's easier for me when I go to stringing this wire out because it ain't light. And I ain't young as I used to be. And so doing this stuff by hand, it's kind of hard. We got a few little tricks to make it easier, but if you're not putting up, you know, miles of fencing, it really doesn't make sense to go out and buy uh, a rig to do it with. So we've we've just always done it by hand whenever we need to do it. Plus, it beats a gym membership. So I'll uh, get on the tractor here in just a second, and let's see what I'll be doing. <laughs>
I just opened that up a little bit and the only reason I did is because it's probably drive the gator and the tractor in and out of here and with the new fence going up there wasn't going to be quite enough room to be fighting all them limbs all day long so I got that pushed out and then we'll work on the main section for our new, our new addition. It's actually going a lot faster than I thought it would. I told my wife I'd be down here for about a day. But it looks like she's going to get to put those new gloves she bought to use because she's going to help me string some fence up. So maybe later today we'll be able to do it. It's not too hot. If it is too hot, we'll do it tomorrow morning.
Now we'll get on to the last section. It's going to tie back into the permanent fence. This is really not taking that long. The ground's really wet because we've had some rain. It was dry, really dry. Just digging fence holes was hard. This is going pretty easy. That wasn't too bad. I'll have to come back with the loppers. Lop off a few of these limbs that are still sticking in my way, but didn't run into no yellow jackets. Happy about that. There's been a bunch of them. I don't want to get ate up by them. Alright, go up here and show you these corners. So these corners are nothing but treated six by sixes from probably Lowe's hardware or something like that. They were up in the barn. And I, I borrowed my dad's auger for the back of the tractor and drilled these holes in it. Some of them took forever because it was really dry when I was doing it earlier in the summer. Now, this is no professional fence by any means, but this will work. So basically all I'm going to do is I'm going to take some sawmill lumber off of our sawmill up here. I think I got some 2 by 8s or something and I'll run those along like that along the along the uh, inside of those posts and I'll lag bolt them down and that'll just give them a little extra strength now if you want professional fence you know there's different ways to do that and I you know I'm just not doing that here I don't need it this is more of a psychological barrier than anything um, to go along with the electric and it will hold the hogs back it, it, it's stout these fence posts are three feet in the ground and they're solid they ain't going anywhere but no more tension than is going to be on this fence. This is going to work just fine. And as my brother says, you can't see it from my house, so it's perfect. So this side of our property is pretty much like a jungle. That's why we decided to run the pigs over here. And I can kind of pan around here and show you. It's probably 20 year 
overgrowth after it was it was logged. Uh, this particular property that we live on, the main section where our home is was logged about 50 years ago and it was select cut. So the timber that we have over there is mostly southern yellow pine as well as some tulip poplar and some other stuff mixed in, some, some uh, silver maple, things like that. But over here, the topography is so much different. We've got ravines running through it, we've got a few ridges, and we've got a bunch of this just undergrowth that you can't hardly walk through. That's why we put the pigs over here, because actually, for no longer than we've had them in there, and I'll show you here shortly, you can actually get in there and walk now where the pigs have been. But um, anyways, let's get back over here to this corner, and I'll, I'll show you the process on kind of tightening this corner up just a little bit. So all I'm going to do right here is I'm going to take this 2x8 and it's just rough cut off my sawmill and I'm going to lag it up here onto these posts that are sticking out of the ground. And remember they're about three foot in the ground. All I'm going to do is take the lag bolts and I'm going to put them up in there. And I can come back with a little bit of um, outdoor stain, homemade outdoor stain, and put it on here and that's going to keep the elements from messing with it too much. I've built several gates and things of that nature over the past several years out here. And as long as it ain't in contact with the ground, it's going to get you a whole lot longer than you think. So you ain't always got to go out there and buy that treated lumber from Lowe's or wherever. If you got it, if you got a sawmill, if you got lumber stacked up somewhere in the dry, you don't be scared to use it um, if it's off the ground. So like I said, all I'm going to do is lag this up here. Kind of get it in place just a little bit, and I'll come back and trim the edges. And look here, I ain't putting no, I ain't putting no level on it. I'm just going to eyeball it. Just saying, um, home construction. This is just something to keep my corner halfway tight. Now all I do is come back here with a circular saw and trim off these edges so that you can have a kind of a flush fence when you go around. Make it look halfway nice even though it's back here in the woods and ain't nobody except y'all and my family ever going to see it. And that'll work. Then we'll get the other side done. Now basically it's the same thing as before. Just lift it up here, lag it in, and trim it off. Get me one started.
and just eyeball it. and then just trim it off. Spin you around here so you can see just a little bit better. And there you have it. You got a corner. And that corner is going to be tight enough. It ain't going to move on you. You can run your fence around the back side of it as you're coming around to make your corner. Tack everything down. That corner is not going to move. I guarantee. Now you can see out here in her little pasture, if you want to call it that just about an acre that's been fenced in in the woods when we fence this in here you could barely walk through this spot but now the pigs over the past couple of years have worked it down so good that we can actually get out there and walk and even though it's you know all the greenery on the trees I can actually see out here in the woods now here comes Rosie now she's wanting to take a look at everybody Hey girl, talk to him. Talk to him. Talk to him. Hey girl. Oh yeah. Yeah. Good looking girl. Oh, a little shaky there. Anyways, thanks for hanging out with us today. Come on back and check us out. Hit that like button. Subscribe to the channel. We'll get a few videos out a week. Show you what you're doing here on the homestead.